what are you going to do for your uh, follow-up sermon series post Christmas? Um, and how do you retain the visitors who come to church during Christmas Eve? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure yet what we're going to do for the follow-up series. I'll, I will know bef- by December. But what I te- generally tend to do around this time of the year is I actually ask, ask the Lord specifically to give us like a word mm. that's going to see us through the next year. And literally, he usually just gives us a word. And I really, and, and so this year for us, everybody's talking about 2020 and vision and all those kind of things. And wow, I don't know what happened to vision this year. But it all went all over the place. But I really felt the Lord saying it's a year of focus. And that what's going to matter most is amidst everything that's going on, where is our focus and to focus on him. And so usually at the beginning of the year, we'll do something that that kind of invites people into the next stage of the journey and to journey with us and say, we're, we're, you know, we're looking into this this new future together and we will you know we'll have something that we'll be referencing through Christmas to come back for um to to keep you know to and and even sometimes what we'll do is not finish this the the season of the of the 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 sermon um series don't finish it on Christmas day maybe we'll look you you know in the past we've kind of looked for instance at um, uh, you know Simeon and Anna, in, and we've done sermons on them or something like that. And it's like, you know, uh, uh, oh, oh, we put the Magi later. I mean, and again, this is following the liturgy. If that was your kind of your background, is to put some of these things in and to follow. This. There's a reason for some of that in the church's year, you know, to you know get some that some people will have an epiphany around epiphany would be pretty cool, and uh, that people will see. The, you know the glory of Christ in those times. So I think don't just plan for Christmas, but do think about what's next. And in some way, you know, I mean, part of our preaching can be to leave, leave a little bit of something, a, a question unresolved, a we're going to look at that next year, and you really want to, you know, come back and and and, not, and don't miss this, etc. So I think it's good for us to know. But I, I'll be honest, I don't, I haven't got, I'm not quite that far ahead yet. Mm-hmm.